Hey guys, what's up? Hazel or Aesthetic here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today uh, we're going to be talking about the Pumpkin Patch Reborn mod, which is actually a mod I coded myself, which is pretty cool. And this mod is basically inspired by a bunch of Japanese mods and it's named after one as well, which is the Pumpkin Patch mod, which was a mod that I used to love back in the day, back in 2014, 2015. Unfortunately, a lot of these Japanese mods like Pumpkin Patch, MK and Utils, all these really cool mods are not being updated anymore, so I've decided to start adding some of these mods features to a mod that I've made in 1.16. So, um, the first uh, item in the mod is the kitchen knife. Now, the kitchen knife is a useful item. Basically, it can be used as a weapon or as a crafting tool, and it can also shear pumpkins, just like this. So I can shear some pumpkins, and it works just like it does in vanilla. So I'm shearing all these pumpkins, and... I can use pumpkin seeds, I can get pumpkin seeds from it. Now, the other thing you can do with a kitchen knife is, actually, you can uh, use it to decraft some items. So you can make green dye for cactus, you can make a skeleton skull from a zombie skull, uh, nine melons from a melon slice, or sorry, nine, nine melon slices from a melon, uh, you can also turn a poisonous potato into a regular one, which is nice and useful. As well, I plan on adding more interesting food items in the future. You can also enchant it, of course. Now, um, this is just the first item in the mod, and it's pretty cool. It also has 250 durability, well, 240, sorry. So yeah, that's the first item in the mod. Now, the second item is the roast pumpkin. Now, the roast pumpkin, uh, sorry, that's how you craft, that's how you, that's what you can craft with it, sorry, a little spoiler. Uh, you can craft with one pumpkin, and you can smelt it, and basically, uh, it's a food item. If you want to eat it, it can be eaten while full as well. It heals one hunger, and it will give you speed for 10 seconds. So it's nice if you're trying to traverse uh, land. It's a pretty cheap way to get the speed potion effect for a short time. Now the next item is Pumpkin A. This can be crafted with nine jack-o'-lanterns, and it's just for decoration right now, but it will be useful for crafting a lot of useful items in the mod in the future. So if you want a cool spooky pumpkin, uh, this is the place to get it from. It's pretty cool. Now the next item is toasted pumpkin seeds. It can be made by smelting pumpkin seeds. So it's nice to use if you, let's say, have a huge excess of pumpkin seeds from your farm. And basically what this does is, it's not like the pumpkin, uh, roast pumpkin, where you can eat it while you're um, full. But it's basically, if you've used like, if you've used a dry kelp before, uh, it's just like that. Basically you can eat it really quickly and it heals one hunger as well. So basically you have two kind of early game uh, pumpkin options for food and now you have one for mid game which is a lot more useful so let's get my hunger down okay now basically what this does is it gives you full hunger and really good saturation but the drawback is that it can't be stacked so it's like a really good item but it can't actually be stacked and yeah so it's like a kind of a trade off speed for this is pretty simple it's just two wheat uh, one brown mushroom, two milk, one raw chicken, and three roast pumpkins. So it's pretty expensive if you're going to try to make it. Now that's all the content currently in the mod. I, I plan on adding a lot more content to this in the future. Uh, it's going to take a lot of more food inspiration. Not just pumpkins, just general food. Add armor sets, weapons, and equip items for curios. Uh, I'm still learning how to code, so all this stuff will come in due time, but I've got to figure out how to actually do it first, get better at Java, etc. Um, but if you like the video, uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, I do, I try to do th videos pretty frequently and I Twitch stream daily. So if you want to check out my Twitch, it's in the description and I post on Twitter a lot as well. So you can check that out as well. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.